We're breaking new ground on these projects. This is not standard construction or demolition. Jerry Dilly has decades of demolition experience and needs every bit of it here. We can't break the laws of physics. We just try to bend them to our will. At El Watt Dam, contractors must erase the structure from the top down. But first they need the ability to move the river, so crews and equipment have dry work areas at each end of the dam. That's why demolition experts are here. To blast a temporary passage for the Elwha through a steep wall of basalt. We have to shoot a channel about 30 feet deep in order to divert the river. They set 8,000 pounds of high explosives in a complex arrangement, timed to achieve the objective and keep debris out of the river. We're trying to scramble a bunch of eggs here without making a big mess. With the channel in place, the river can be nudged from side to side, allowing deconstruction to move swiftly on this part of the project. Glines Canyon Dam, newer and stronger than its predecessor, is more resistant. The dam is not coming down without a fight, but we're winning. In the tight confines of the canyon, crews employ a pneumatic hammer from a barge tucked against the lip of the dam. The first day sitting on the barge is awesome. I mean, it just, it just blows your mind. You're going, what are you doing here? Why are you doing this? The dramatic location gives an impression of danger, but the barge is kept safely in place with a pair of steel columns extending 20 feet below waterline. This is the coolest job I've ever had. Because <laughs> you're sitting on a waterfall, literally. I mean, one step and you're on top of it, and two steps you're over it and you're hammering on what's saving your life. <laughs> so, kind of a, plays a little mind tricks with you. He and his team must adapt to unusual circumstances, like the lack of visibility. You're doing it by braille. Everything's underwater. All you're looking at is water going over the waterfall and you're chipping the dam out underneath of it. What they can't see with their eyes, they picture in their minds. I imagine what this looked like back 100 years ago when it was, there was nothing here. I mean, we're, we're now making it look like that again and we're the first ones to see it. We and the crane operator, we always say, we don't read about history, we make it. With the dam's profile diminishing, Lake Mills also transforms. And every day you can see the lake behind you, it went down three to six inches, foot some days. So 20 feet? Every time you come out here, there's less and less lakes. Above Glines Canyon Dam, a new vista is emerging. Last time we were here, the reservoir was about 40 feet above where we're sitting. So we're sitting under what was lake. And now, this has all been reformed by the river. As part of that process, sediment is on the move. This is essentially a giant uh, supply of salmon habitat just waiting to work its way downstream. River scientists are here to check on how much of the material is already in motion. This is called RTK GPS, and it allows us to go all over the reservoir area and map our horizontal and vertical positions so we can see exactly where the sediment has been and where it's moved. We basically can only control the amount of sediment being released while the dams are in place. Dam removal is gradual to allow time for the river to carve and carry away silt, sand, and gravel held in the reservoirs. The sediment is marching along and redistributing across the valley just like the model predictions said they would. It's pretty intense to be up here working on this project just because this is the river that, um, that, made, me want to <laughs> that made me want to be a scientist in the first place. Andy grew up about five miles from here. This was his backyard. I've gone up and down this river just about every year since I was a kid. The only thing I remember 
really about seeing the river the first time is that I was afraid I was going to fall off my dad's back. I was in a backpack. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity on um, you know, my favorite river on the planet. This river is changing quickly. When we came out here a year ago, this was all a placid lake environment. Today, we hear the roar and the rush of the river returning back to its landscape. It's amazing. You're gonna hear the river from its headwaters to the ocean again. and That's, I think, something that was missing through the last 100 years. In our next webisode, one dam out and one to go.